Hi everyone, welcome to the channel and my name is Manish Tiwari. So in today's video, we are going to talk about major challenges what you face while working as a DevOps engineer. And this is the kind of question what you encounter during your DevOps interview, either you are working as a or you are going to show your experience as a junior DevOps engineer or a senior DevOps engineer or a lead DevOps engineer, correct? What does that mean? That means either you are going to put your experience as a two years or you are going to put your experience as a eight years of dear DevOps experience. You are going to get this question every time during your interview. What kind of major challenges you have faced while working as a DevOps engineer? And this is where you need to prepare yourself. This is where you need to get one or two questions at least, which you can answer during the interview. So I will just explain those kind of scenarios and those kind of challenges what you can narrate during your interview if you do not know any major challenges if you have not really worked as a DevOps engineer but you have to explain this answer during the interview. So I will be working uh, on that I will be uh, answering on that particular question because why I am creating this video because I received a lot of comments on this that uh, just create a separate video on this that what kind of major challenges we can explain during the interview. So I was just talking about on this particular topic today in this video. But before that let me talk uh, talk on the DevOps interview preparation bootcamp which we are running and batch 10 is going to be start on this Monday. So what we do in this DevOps interview preparation bootcamp as the name itself suggests it is specifically designed for preparing you for the interview and what kind of interview devops interview so just suppose that you have already gone through the devops training you already know the devops concept concepts you know the aws cloud you know the terraform you know the kubernetes you know the docker you know the ci cd you know the git you know the D, uh, linux you know the grafana you know the dynatrace you know troubleshooting each and everything but when it comes to the interview the 30 minute interaction the 45 minutes interaction with the people with someone who is from the company side and you are not able to get that particular question what your interviewer is asking you are facing the challenges with that you are not able to get the troubleshooting question and you are not able to explain the answer for that you are not able to explain the project related project related answers what kind of project you have worked upon what kind what kind of component you have utilized in your project and you are the one who is facing the challenges with explaining day to day activities and generic interview questions during your interview so in this particular devops interview preparation bootcamp we are running five day crash course in this we cover all kind of expected questions and why i'm saying expected because there might be a variation of 10% because 90% of the questions we are going to put what we ask really while hiring any of the candidates during interview. So this is going to be helpful and fruitful for you. If you want more details on that, you can drop a WhatsApp message on the number which is on the screen and which is on the description side as well. We have helped 350 plus candidates through this bootcamp and they are from two years experience to 20 plus years of experience range and they are from different geographical location as well we have proven our result as well so you can do inquiry you can join devops interview preparation bootcamp okay now let me talk about the major challenges what you might encounter or what you can narrate during your, uh, during your interview so just suppose that what kind of uh, issues we encounter we might encounter the production related issues that your production deployment got failed your running application the customer application got failed and there were some issues that there was some customer impact okay? so let me explain the question the scenario where you can explain the same what i am going to narrate now so while working as a devops engineer few years back I encountered one issue and that was related to database storage issue. So we had configured our CloudWatch alarm which, are, which is supposed to give a notification whenever there will be 80% of storage utilization, the database storage utilization. And we faced the same issue. During one of the night shift, one of our engineer called me and she said that we are getting this kind of issue where 
our production database has been consumed more than 80 percent so what was the workaround what can you do at this same time you will just increase the database storage because this 80 uh, the storage was consumed completely 100 percent till the time we received the call and we tried to look into that so we had to increase the storage from 20 to 30 GB. This is what we did as a workaround because it was a night time. So at 1 a.m. we did this. But soon after 4 to 5 hours in the morning, once again I received the call that once again this 10 GB extra storage has been consumed. So how can you fix that? And this is what was not expected. Because this 20 GB consumption took more than 6 months and now 10 GB storage got consumed within 3 to 4 uh, hours only. So this was a kind of a strange behavior on which we had to work upon. So in the morning we started investigating on that and what we found that was very surprising. So we had created primary and secondary infrastructure for our customer. Like primary infrastructure was running in AP South 1 and secondary infrastructure was running on us system that was north virginia so when there was issue first time we increased the storage from 20 to 30 gb in primary that is ap south one and we did not increase the storage on the us system one side that was secondary secondary region secondary database correct so whenever you set this replication related things that primary will be in sync with the secondary all the data which is the primary side that is replicated to the secondary but when you didn't configure the same thing you increase the storage here but you didn't increase the storage here on the second side so all the replication lag files also started accumulating on the primary side only so the data which was being written through the application and the replication lag file both were getting created on the primary side only so this extra 10 gb got consumed soon because this secondary was already filled and it was not accepting any new data so what we did after an investigating for half an hour or more than half an hour what i remember it exactly took we increased the con configuration we changed the configuration on the secondary as well from 20 to 30 gb and after that replication started once again so once replication started we saw that now the storage is working fine because the primary was also having 30 gb and secondary was also having 30 gb so this was one of the kind of major issue the production related issue which impacted our real customer application and that was the uh, impact because it was a database so user was not able to log in into the application because the user credential like whenever you will try to log in into any application the credentials will be fetched from your database the authorization will happen from the database correct so that credential was not being fetched the user was not authorized correct so it was a real customer impact and this is how we fixed it so the same kind of challenges you can explain during your devops interview if you have any new story new challenges you have faced you can explain the same if you want any new topic, any specific concept on which you want to be created, you can just drop a comment and I will be creating a video on that too.